So hello everyone, Philosopher Stoner 666 here. So today I'm at my new job. I am a hygiene technician, a sanitation engineer, a janitor basically. I work for this company. I got my safety glasses, I got my uh, earplugs, some gloves in my pocket with a little bit of chunk of burrito on them because I'm eating lunch. I got my CO monitor for carbon monoxide. Um, I'm working at a steel plant at an unnamed facility. I'm not naming names where it is. Um, I'll just show you. So my job is I got to clean, you know, bathrooms, lunch rooms, and they expect me to mop this floor. I mean, look at it. And there's the steel place, part of the steel plant outside. And yeah, anyways, let me see, what did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, people and authority. So there's been a few issues at this place. Now, technically, I'm the smartest person in this place. I'm fucking Bachelor of Arts uh, with ph philosophy and psychology from the University of Toronto. And all these people, you know, dykes with you know, neck tattoos and hand tattoos and all the rest and all these eccentric characters. One guy that uh, sifts through the garbage looking for the Tim Horton roll up the rim uh, cups to roll up the rim, see if he wins a prize. And Tim Horton's is a big coffee chain in Canada. Gotta get my Timmy's, eh? And my Tim bits. Yeah, like us Canadians, we're a bunch of stupid goofs. All these people around here, they use the word buddy and hey buddy and what's going on buddy and it's really really Canadian anyway so yeah I'm the smartest fucking person in this place and it's sad because this is what I've been reduced to I got this university degree they promised me all this shit and I'm wound up as a janitor but I actually like it because there's no social contact um, I don't have to deal with drama I don't have to deal with people and bullshit and I just I go in I clean the toilet mop the floor everybody fucks off it's great at least for a while it's a unionized job, so eventually in three months from now, if I keep on with it, I'll be entered, I'll be in part of a union, and the salary's okay, as long as I don't have children, don't have, you know, too many expenses, budget, I'll be okay for a while. Um, still involved in my lawsuits and my stuff, I haven't made a video in a while, but anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, smartest person in the place, and this place, uh, stupid fox is very disorganized the management is incompetent there's health and safety violations there's like this place is infested with bed bugs and stuff apparently and there's precautions you can take uh they're using mops that are um you know not, not changing the mop when you're cleaning the kitchen and the washroom that's cross contamination all sorts of stuff that they've now they fixed they fixed but pointed out this stuff to them and you know, it's, things are slowly getting better. I got my supplies today, whatever. But uh, anyways, yeah. So there's this one guy that's a manager that is kind of like me, space cadet, absent-minded professor type, forgets his keys, that sort of thing. And then this woman that's been cleaning, a cleaner for like 10 years, knows what she's doing. And I had an issue with my scheduling. And my first inclination was to call this woman because she's trained me and she's shown me stuff. Whereas these other managers, supervisor people, they have, technically they have the authority and technically they're supposed to be doing it, but now they want to fuck the dog too. And I mean, there's all sorts of people fucking the dog on this job, people sleeping on the job, people uh, taking, you know, four hours of break, uh, not cleaning, not doing whatever. Technically, you know, um, it's easy to get away with, but not for long. You have to, you do have to clean, you do have to do your job, but uh, Anyways, yeah, so it's just, it's strange that the people that wind up in managerial supervisor positions are not the people that should be in charge, but the people that should be in charge don't want to be in charge because they know it's a bunch of horse shit. And I think that's why our world is so fucked up, that really it should be the most competent, experienced person for the job, but things in life don't always work out that way. I mean, what the hell is someone that's a university graduate doing this for? How come? Why did, how did I wind up here? And that's my own fault and it's my, I have to take responsibility for it, but right? Why isn't the woman that has cleaned for 10 years a supervisor of the cleaning place and then some schmuck that's an idiot is the supervisor? What, how does that work? How does that happen? That's an interesting philosophical question I'm trying to figure out. And I just think it has to do with personalities. And I think, 
I don't know. The question is, it's, are you made for the job or does the job make you? And I think it's more the job makes you. Um, but, uh, but then I can see that you are the job. I can see that my personality, I am well suited to this kind of job because I have very poor people skills interacting with people and I do not like people. So this, I, I actually, I'm fucking loving it because, uh, look, I'm alone in this lunchroom. I don't have to deal with people. It's fucking great. It's fucking awesome. Most people would be terribly lonely or dissatisfied or fucking hate this stuff, but uh, fucking great for me. So really it is, it, it is you, but it can be the other way around. Maybe it's a little bit of both, probably is a little bit of both, but I don't know what the answer to that question is. Anyways, uh just my rant i gotta get going i gotta get back to work now so philosopher stoner 666 out